Hey Savvy People, it's Savvy Nick here, and today we'll be going through how to increase your storage space on an already existing Linux system. We'll be using Debian, we'll be using Ubuntu for this tutorial. Some other Linux distributions might require different methods in order to properly resize their storage spaces, because various Linux distributions are partitioned differently from each other. If you're new and stopping by to watch a tutorial today, please take a moment to subscribe below and hit the notification bell for more videos. All right, let's go jump in real quick. So the first thing I'm gonna do is here in Ubuntu, there's an app called Disks. So let's look for that and launch it. Here in Disks, you can see all the information about your file system currently. Uh, you can see here that there's a partition one with 34 gigabytes with an ext4 formatted file system. It belongs to uh, the device called SDA1 and it tells you where it's mounted on the file system root. So this is our root partition. At the top here, you see VBox hard disk, at least for me, because I'm using VirtualBox in order to go through this uh, tutorial today. And what I'll be doing is going and uh, extending this to 64 gigabytes of space. So in order to do so, I'm gonna go ahead and shut down Ubuntu real quick, and then we'll bring it right back up after we've resized it in the virtual machine. So let's go ahead and exit out and just shut down real quick. Give it a moment here. All right, and after it's shut down, you can see that I have Ubuntu 18.04 right here available. And what I wanna do, if you wanna increase the size here, if you hit settings and you go to the storage, you'll see that there's really no way to increase the size, this 32 gigabytes here. Instead, in VirtualBox, you're gonna to have to go out of here, go up to the top where you see file, and then let's go down until we see the Virtual Media Manager. Also, you can use Control D if you have Windows. And once you've done that, you'll see a list of all the different disks that you have available and their extensions. So you can see here I have the Ubuntu UEFI.VDI, and that's the current system that I have before I renamed it, of course, to uh, Ubuntu 18.04. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that, and then I can go ahead and actually change the size to whatever I want. So if you go below whatever you had before, so I had 32 gigabytes of space, it gives you a warning here that uh, you can't do that because it's smaller than what you had before, so you would be destroying your system pretty much. So you don't wanna do that. Instead, you wanna go ahead and go above. So I'm gonna go for, let's say like 64 gigs, and you can also type it over here on the right-hand corner. And once you've selected whatever you want, you can actually hit the apply button, and that will apply 64 gigabytes of space. We'll go ahead and close out of here. And just to check, let's go back into settings. If you go into settings and then go to storage and click on the storage space, you'll see now that there's 64 gigabytes available. So that's great. What we wanna do next is go ahead and hit okay. And then let's go ahead and launch our Ubuntu 18.04 so we can check the disks again and the partitions. So I'm just gonna launch this real quick. Now this is applicable to doing it on a real physical computer at least with Ubuntu. This is just an easy way to show you. And a lot of people use virtual machines and sometimes you need a little more space. And instead of getting rid of your virtual machine, this is an easy way to go ahead and add it. Let me go ahead and switch to full screen here since we'll be focusing in on this and log in real quick. So I'm gonna go back into disks here so let's just search for that app and launch it. So now you can see we have the file system partition one, 34 gigabytes of ext4 partitioned space mounted on the root. And then we have this free space, which is another 34 gigabytes. So what this tells us is Linux didn't automatically just assume that we wanted to go ahead and use all this free space up for our root storage. Instead, we have to go ahead and actually define this by ourselves and tell it to go ahead and use the free storage space. So Ubuntu has really made this easy since version 17. They went ahead and moved their swap space from the partition to a file that exists on a storage disk. So the way it used to exist is that you had your root partition, then you had a swap partition following that. Well, that made it really hard because you had these two segmented from each other. So you can imagine here if I had another rectangle and it was labeled swap, that the free space would be behind that swap. So you would have to actually disable swap 
and completely remove it, then put your free space in and then add swap in at the back. Like I mentioned before, some Linux distributions still have this problem since they do have swap space still as a partition. So this method won't work with every distribution. So let me know if I should go ahead and make a video about resizing storage on some other Linux distribution. Let me know in the comment section below which distribution I should go ahead and make another video on. Also, if you made it this far, please go ahead and hit the like button. It really does help me out. And what we wanna do is go ahead and hit these little cogs right here. So we get to have other options here. As you can see, we can edit partitions, edit the file system, format partitions, even check and repair the file system. But what we want is actually to resize. So if we click the resize, we have the easy ability to go ahead and resize our, our current file system. So all you have to really do is just change the slider around. And if you want to use the maximum amount, you can just put the slider at the very end. Or you can go ahead and keep increasing, increasing the size here below. And you also have the option of selecting various units, as well as manually putting in what partition size you want. If you want to leave some free space following, so let's say you don't want to use up the full 64 gigabytes that we have, you can go ahead and type in some amount. It's just going to move the slider over a little bit. So let's say I wanted 10 gigabytes left at the very end, then I can just go ahead and put uh, 10 in there and it will allow for that part of the storage disk not to be used by anything. And it'll give you a difference. So we're increasing it here by, uh, it says 24.4 gigabytes. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and use everything I have since I want to make it 64 gigabytes. And I'm going to hit the resize button. Now, uh, be forewarned that if for some reason you're doing this on a physical computer and there is something that exists at the end of that space, it will be erased. So it does tell you here, resizing a file system can lead to data loss if you're not careful. And you're always advised to back up the system data before using operations like resize. So again, you should be aware that this will resize your root mounted partition, but for more storage, just make sure that there's no data in the free storage that you're trying to expand into. So after you've confirmed that, you can hit resize. It's gonna ask you for a password for your administrative user. Go ahead and type that in and allow it to go ahead and do its, oh, I typed in the wrong password. Try again here. After you put in the right password, <laughs> you'll be able to um, resize. And as you can tell now, we have a 69 gigabyte ext formatted partition one file system so it all looks good and uh, you can also check if you want with uh, terminal you can also check in the terminal you can do uh, let's see f disk dash l i believe might have to do that as administrator so let me try and then we can see our sda now has 64 gigabytes available and then you can tell here uh, that dev SDA1 is now 64 gigabytes of type Linux. So if you made it this far, you've successfully resized your storage space. Congratulations. We'll go ahead and exit out. And I'm just going to go ahead and reboot one more time just to make sure that everything sticks around like we think it should. Give it a few moments here just to restart. And I'm going to go ahead and go to disks again just to check and make sure that everything is properly there. So yeah, we still have these 69 gigabytes, so everything's working just fine. Again, let me know if there's another Linux distribution where you'd like me to go ahead and do this on. And whether or not uh, you would like me to go ahead and do this with a swap at the end of the root mounted partition. Because that's a little more challenging. And I want to thank everyone because we've just reached 100 videos on the channel. It's really exciting to get there, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial of how to increase the storage size on Ubuntu Linux. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them in the comments section below. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos, and make sure to like the video. If you want, go ahead and stop by the Discord channel. Also, I have a blog or wiki in the works. I'm not sure which one to choose quite yet, but I've been experimenting with both formats so that I will be able to post more content. If you have an opinion about which format to choose, please feel free to go ahead and post in the comments section below and let me know. I'll be making a community post in the next few weeks about the new blog or wiki release.
So keep an eye out for that. And thanks for watching.